knowledge. Do I have any other requests for the floor? Um, we had one question that we wanted to put to the facilitators of the breakout group and, and to the wider group. And that was with respect to collaboration. I think many of your comments have already sort of driven that point um, home as well. But if you could, if you had any final thoughts on that particular question of um, we need better collaboration amongst the various stakeholders in order to enhance the translation of finance needs into action. If you have any final thoughts on that, it would be greatly appreciated. I mean, I, I do think that what's key is really this integration across the government, sort of to, to make sure that all the different departments and ministries talk together. And it's sort of, it's, it's, it's a horizontal, but it's also then the vertical from, from the local, regional to, to national. I mean, I think it's, I mean, that, that, that would be sort of my, my short answer. Um, uh, I just want to address your question and um, I forgot to mention that in our group uh, that was something that we talked about uh, um, it's, uh, and we mentioned for example what happened uh, when, when there is a lot of damage because, uh, because of uh, hurricanes, earthquakes or, where, or whatever uh, that affect uh, uh, the infrastructure of a country uh, it's very important because the cost to, to, to change from what you have to a better uh, thing, a better facility, a better system, uh, you have to address that. And it's, it's very important to identify uh, how much it will cost to move to a better, to, to, to a better thing. So yes, we address that and we believe that, was, that it's a very important issue. Uh, how much is, is, is the change to adapt. Um, and we mentioned, uh, for example, that, that it's very important to, to align the country first uh, um, with what it would be your approach to, uh, to climate change. And when you have your country uh, in order, then uh, you will have a better dialogue with the, with the donors. Thank you, Gemma. Uh, thanks. Um, well, one, one thing that comes to mind uh, is building um, on Mariam's presentation earlier this morning, um, and I thought the definition of enabling environments was, was quite interesting. Um, and we had some, I, I suppose, re related discussion in, in our group um, regarding technical assistance for development of policy and policy frameworks and that maybe this doesn't receive enough uh, attention and I guess uh, sometimes you know the technical assistance uh, I, I, I think our, our governments have some experience in um, in offering I, I, I guess uh, sort of cooperation among governments and sharing expertise that way so maybe that that is something to think about um and then also the delivery of technical assistance for the project and program development and just to you know really think about how to do that effectively so that it does lead to increased uh, capacity and increase I, I guess the effectiveness and the rate at, at which it's delivered and I know uh, I, I know the GCF and, and the Jeff are looking at, at that. Thanks. Thank you Gemma. Said, would you like to make any comments? Uh, I'm not going to stand in the way of lunch but I think I know basically the uh, from the perspective of the discussion we had I think the fact that if you can work together in, in regional in groups and that may be helpful because you may be able to reach out to partners better and well, of course the challenges especially for adaptation is quite uh, distinct and it's quite difficult to sort of work you know because of the unique circumstances but then you know there's still is an area of work that really needs a lot more attention to be focused on yeah 
Thank you, Syed. And I know lunch is calling you. We also had intentions to have a presentation, but I'm not sure if the Secretariat uh, can confirm that, that the presenter is here.